Welcome, you're listening to Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 471. And today, Mr. Joshua Blum and I are reviewing a fight scene. It's going to be fun, a little bit different. So hang out, and I'll tell you more in just a moment. My name is Jeremy Lesniak, your host on the show, founder of Whistlekick. And everything we do here at Whistlekick is in support of traditional martial arts. If you want to know more about what we do, to that end, go to whistlekick.com. That's our online home, and it's also the easiest way to find our products. And make sure you use the code PODCAST15 to save 15% if you make a purchase. This show, Martial Arts Radio, has a separate website, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. And we bring you this show twice a week. The goal of not only the show, but Whistlekick overall, we're here to connect, educate, and entertain traditional martial artists the world over. If you want to support that work, there are a lot of ways you can do that. You can make a purchase, share this or another episode, follow us on social media, maybe tell a friend, pick up a book on Amazon, leave a review, or support us on Patreon. If you think the new shows that we're releasing are worth 63 cents a piece, not to mention all the back episodes you already get access to, consider supporting us at the $5 a month level. Go to patreon.com slash whistlekick and sign up. You know what? If you do, We're going to give you even more content because that's what we're about. If you've been a listener to the show for a while, the name Joshua Blum should ring a bell. We've collaborated on a few things and it's been a lot of fun working with this guy. So we're constantly looking at what can we do? How can we do something new or different? And this is what we came up with. Today, we're going to review, pick apart, and even offer some color commentary of a fight scene from a classic film. And this film today is Wheels on Meals, and it features Jackie Chan and Benny the Jet Urquidez. What makes this episode special is this is the first one where you kind of have homework. If you listen to this episode and you don't also watch the fight scene, what we're saying isn't going to make a ton of sense. If you go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com, if you go to the show notes page for this episode, number 471, There's a link there. You can find it on YouTube. It's a roughly five and a half minute clip. And it's not that hard to find. But the whole idea here is that you play it while you listen to this. And for legal purposes, we're not combining any of these things because we don't have rights to that film or or that fight scene or anything. So don't want to get in trouble with that. In the intro, we do talk about this a little bit. In the outro, we talk more. So if you're not at a point where you're able to watch the fight scene, you might want to listen to the intro and the outro. We do give you some, some stuff worth thinking about there. And then in a few minutes before we start the commentary, we give you a countdown so you can sync everything up. But I'm going to turn it over to Joshua now. So here we go. Hello, listeners. This is Joshua Blum from the 13th Hour Podcast and Jeremy Lesniak from Whistlekick. And we're bringing to you another collaboration talking about a fight scene from the 1984 movie Wheels on Meals uh, with Jackie Chan and a lot of his uh, Beijing opera brothers that he grew up training with. Um, But this particular fight scene is with him and Benny the Jet. Unless you've been living under a rock uh, past a couple decades uh, in the martial arts, you'll most likely have heard of Benny Urquidez. And uh, this is uh, one of the chances to see him on film. And so we're going to be commenting on this particular uh, fight scene. It's a fairly long one. Uh, for a fight scene, almost five minutes long, um, and they fight almost uh, almost continuously throughout that time. Uh, we picked it because it is long and it has so much stuff in there uh, that we actually watched it half speed. We wanted to make sure that there was enough in there that you could delve into it if you really wanted to, but uh, it would also be a great one to watch at normal speed if you just kind of wanted to breeze through it. So there's really a lot there, and even watching it at half speed uh, I feel like we didn't quite get to talk about all the things that we wanted to. Uh, you will notice um, I took some notes um, about a couple of things, uh, and you'll see the minute and second uh, sh- uh, uh, sort of play-by-play, so to speak, uh, at least the things that kind of were stand out in, in the show notes. You will also see in the show notes a link to uh, this clip, and you can click on it and watch it in YouTube along with us. In YouTube, there's a way to slow a clip down. If you go to the lower uh, right-hand corner of it, you'll see a little gear, and you can click on that, 
and you can pick the playback speed. For this one, if you want to follow along with us, we're doing it half speed, although you can watch it slower. So as you're listening to this, you will notice that there are some gaps when we're not saying anything, and that is because the clip, clip is playing in the background. So that's why that is uh, the case. We didn't fall asleep while watching it. Excuse that if you're watching this, if you're just sort of listening to this without the audio. But without further ado, we're going to launch into the clip at this point, and then we will reconvene and talk to you sort of after the clip is done about our reflections. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> talk about your cliches. Right. I was uh, taking a look at some clips of Benny to see if he he fights the same way here as he does. Like a pro wrestling his, uh, shot right there. Yeah. Keep going. There's a nice little sequence on the ground there, the next spring. And... Reminds me a lot of uh, Silat, just the way he's moving there, which I don't know if he's skilled in Silat, but reminding me uh, of the bit that I've Jackie? seen. Uh, yeah. No, no, Benny. Just Benny. a little bit with that that footwork and the flipping there. Yeah. Like kicking. Oh, on the ground. Yeah. 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 He's a lot more static here. Uh, than he is in his fights. Oh, well, that nice little thing, uh, the back kick with uh, taking crazy. off the jacket. I love the contrast of Jackie and, you know, the very Chinese, you know, clearly fluid movements and Benny's much more linear, you know, yeah. kickboxing. Right. Yeah. And even though he's, you know, he's, he's, he doesn't, he's not bouncing around as much. Um, I mean, I think he's throwing mostly like, you know, the full contact karate kind of stuff, you know, hand combinations, round kicks, push kicks. And he's making those overalls look really good. Yeah. <laughs> With the suspenders. Uh, sorry, suspenders. Yeah. Yeah. Overalls. But Jackie, you got, you got to take off your clothes. You're always stronger if you take right. off. Right. It's something. not a good martial arts fight if clothes aren't <laughs> coming off. Got to shake out the cobwebs. Right. No one, I don't think anybody does the Bruce Lee thing where they, they flick their nose with their thumb. No, know, that's definitely a, a him thing. Anytime I've ever seen that, it's been either in uh, mockery or homage. Yeah. I, I would say that th this is like definitely like, uh, they fight for a pretty long time. I mean, it's definitely a contest. You know, you get the impression that it's like, a contest of pretty much equals. Yeah, and I think we're meant to see that, right? I mean, yeah. there's there's a lot of good stuff going on here, and I suspect that they both enjoyed filming this scene. I'm sure. He's, and uh, I wonder Benny's how got, much of uh, it was structured. Yeah. Uh, Benny's got uh, Jackie on the on the ropes there, on the table. One of the things that always impresses me about fight scenes like this is how accurate they are. You know, they get super close. Yeah, yeah. I was th I was looking. You can see details of it um, that they if times when when they're actually blocking each other, right? But but the audience, I don't think, can pick it up, um, and uh, it it it's fluid enough that it, you can't really uh, see that they're not necessarily connecting. And I imagine they probably connected a number of these shots. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure both of them as committed as they are to what they do were hitting, you yeah. know, any, any of those kicks to the body, I'm sure they felt it. Yeah. Should we talk about the hair? <laughs> the hair is <laughs> out of control. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a nice back kick by Jenny, by Benny. Oh, Jenny. that's a great kick. Yeah. It's a really nice, yeah, it was a really nice sweep coming up right there. That's great. I think this is one of the few fight scenes where I've really enjoyed the blocking, the defensive movements. Yeah. Because you don't have a lot of that. Okay, you got to have some cheesy, uh, cheesy, uh, uh, what do you call it? Talk over uh, dubbing right there. <laughs> Well, he uses the chair for a shield and then resting <laughs> on to round two. 
taking a break. Yeah, I mean, that would really throw your opponent off. Yeah, well, yeah. Benny's also gentleman enough to like say, okay, all right, we're going to take a rest and we're going to do this. We're going to do round two. This is just rush in and start hammering him. You'd expect nothing less of a guy in a bow tie. Yeah, it's true. Who's also still dressed? Who's also, um, who has not taken off his clothes? I don't think he, he took off his no. jacket. No, I mean, he, he, he looks like all he needs is a jacket and he can, you know, go to a formal dinner. Right. We start to see, uh, all right, he's like, all right, uh, Jackie's loosening up here. Baiting him a little bit. Oh, got a little bit of nose wipe. <laughs> yeah, there's been, there've been a couple of those. Yeah. With the yeah, obviously vaguely, fake blood. Uh, vaguely uh, drunken masters to elevation there. Yes. Benny's movements are just so minimal. Yeah. You know, he punches and he doesn't get out of the way in, in, in dramatic fashion like Jackie does. He just kind of sits there and moves two inches. Right. Ah, it's a nice kick. Like sort of a couple out of there. Great hook kick. We got to have a humorous at, element to, to break right. it up. Yeah. I was looking at some of the techniques that Benny actually uses in some of his, you know, full contact matches. They're not that much different. I mean, it's more stylized here, obviously, but, you know. And that's something that I'm fix. kind of picking up mostly in his stance and his footwork is that yeah. it seems very similar versus, you know, Jackie's stances are, are often really big, and that's not something right. that would translate well to the ring, at least in, in any of my experience. But Benny's feet, for the most part, are pretty tight to him. Sure. I think Benny is he's more of a... Here he kind of switches stances. I think he's, at least when I see, he's more orthodox kind of stance, you know, mm. left side forward. I think, he's a, I think he's a right-hander. I'm not sure. But here he kind of... <laughs> and there's... <laughs> Tickling or grabbing a nipple. I'm not really sure what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, either is fair play, right? If yeah. Someone's I trying guess. to kill you, you can you can tickle them. Yeah. Throat's gotta feel horrible at this point. Well, I mean, let's face it, they probably would be, you know, at this point. I mean. And he's still got that top button buttoned. I don't I don't right. even like eating with my top button on a on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nose right i know jackie in a couple of times i've read he's he's had his nose broken a couple times um wouldn't surprise me if that was one of them yeah benny's eyes they just looks oh, like he's such intense a, a compelling villain yeah Uh, I think one of your previous guests, uh, Kathy Long, used to do that, the spinning back fist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a brutal move. I mean, you got to commit for it. But if, if you connect, it's yeah. a lot of power there. And it's a surprise. Yeah. I remember one time I got hit by that. And the next thing you know, it's just on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the good movements nope. do that to you. <laughs> no idea what happened. I like the way they filmed that. It looked like they ran it back in reverse. Right. When, when Jackie hit as, as Benny was falling. Well, I imagine this, this fight scene probably took weeks to film. Like, you know, probably not pieces. over. Yeah. A lot of nuance, the, the humor, the dialogue. Right. I want to know what shoes he's wearing. Who, uh, uh, Benny? Yeah. Yeah. Any dress shoes I've ever worn 
They're I, terrible. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do any of that. Oh, so here you get a scene like, you know, where they're, they're pounding each other. You can see Benny's blocking most of these shots. Jackie right there is going to take one to the, he looks like he punches his elbow. Uh, well, that one looks like it connected right there. That's a good shot. But I don't think the audience would necessarily pick that up. I mean, it's happening fast and we're watching it at half time, but. Right. You know, and very much, you know, the, the momentum shifted, Benny's losing, but it's still what you would expect in a kickboxing, in a full contact right. match. He's covering, he's, his priority is on, on defense. He's just trying to make it through to the bell. Now, of course, there's right. no bell. Right. But that style. <laughs> was he summoning his chi yeah. <laughs> clearly <laughs> i always thought he was like is oh here we have this like uh call back to ong bak nothing like kicking somebody out the window <laughs> Brave words from a guy hanging. <laughs> okay. Well that that's 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 the scene. What do you what did you think? It's a great scene. Yeah. You know, it's it's nice to see two people who actually know what they're doing. And of course. You know, we know Jackie Chan is a consummate professional and is going to rise to any occasion, anybody he's working with. He's got enough talent. And so you take someone like Benny Urquidez, who's been in the ring and is known for being an absolute monster in the mm. ring and just yeah. taking punishment and putting him side by side with Jackie. And Jackie's going to, you know, again, rise to that. And their techniques looked great. And of course, you know, we just played it back in slow-mo, but if you watch it at full speed, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, um, you, you can see like the, their own personal like styles, I guess, coming out. I'm not entirely sure. Like Jack, Jackie's sort of all over the place and sort of what he does, but like, you can definitely see Benny uh, and kind of the way he, um, he's a lot more kind of uh, he's a, he felt looser. He didn't feel as loose, you know, he felt more, um, kind of tighter and more, more controlled here. Um, uh, I guess it's because it's a, you know, it's a choreographed kind of thing, but, um, um, we can definitely see the influence of what he does, uh, versus Jackie kind of, uh, uh, not necessarily sticking to one necessarily way of attacking or anything like that, anything like that. Um, right. using, uh, uh, uh angling and 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 hide and some trickery and stuff like that which i guess is what he's kind of known for he didn't use any any like uh, i guess it was the chair right but he didn't pick he didn't employ any like makeshift weapons he, he, yeah he didn't there were there were no ladders he was popping through or anything yeah yeah but what i found interesting you know jackie's always comical in his fight scenes i mean there's always right. an element of humor there's at least some playfulness but benny is so stoic so right. reserved yeah. so conservative in everything he's doing that i don't know if it was jackie's idea or, or how or why it played out the way it did but from my experience that is probably the most um comical i've seen jackie be within the actual combat mm. you know sticking his face out multiple times you know playing that joke out you know, mm -hmm. knowing inevitably he's going to get hit. Right. Right. Yeah, so, on purpose. Yeah. Right. 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 So you see yeah. those two extremes play out, and the contrast is enjoyable because you can watch it how it shifts back and forth. That you know anybody who trains knows you can't always be calm and reserved because it, it becomes predictable, right? And, right. But but to be crazy and silly with your techniques leaves you open. And we, we saw both of those things happen. So here, here's a question. Um, if you had to, uh, so there was, it was almost like there was two rounds here, right? 
And even if you, it's like a, it's like a vaguely maybe four and a half minute kind of fight before like Benny goes out the window and like, there's a few like dramatic pauses and stuff like that, but about four or five minutes. Um, so almost like broken into like two, two rounds, you know? And so the, the first round where, um, kind of ending with Jackie sitting on the chair yeah. and then the second round, uh, ending kind of when, <laughs> but, but he goes out the window, <laughs> if you had to give, um, if you had to put like, uh, uh, like, a who took the first round, who would you say? I think given all of it, I'd have to say Benny, but I don't mm-hmm. think it was as lopsided as Jackie's part sitting on the chair implies. Oh, you mean like, uh, uh, meaning just by hair, you mean, or? Maybe not by a hair, but, yeah. you know, if you, if you were to kind of diagram this out and say, hey, there's a fight, one guy's winning, the other guy has to sit in a chair and take a break, and we, we make a humorous element out of that, you would assume that it's because it was so overwhelmingly in one guy's favor right. that he needed the break. But I didn't see it as overwhelming. How about you? Right. No, I, I didn't either. I thought it was pretty evenly matched. And so I, like, I, I, think, uh, I, I thought at the beginning, like this is clearly like a, a contest because there was, um, and, uh, there's like implicit rules that go with uh, if you're going to make it a contest, right? You know, there's like some things you just don't do, right? They didn't, um, nobody, I don't think anybody, I don't know if there were any groin shots. No one tried to grab anybody's ears or eyes or they were all fairly clean um, techniques. Um, uh, there was some playing around, but I mean, there was nothing like, um, you know, no one pulled out a gun and tried to shoot it. You know, it was like nothing out, outright duplicitous. So and if they just wanted to end the thing, you know, they probably could have found more efficient ways of doing it, but, um, they definitely wanted to, it was like sort of a see who, uh, is the, is the better fighter. And, uh, so with that comes certain, um, uh, implicit rules and, uh, like, you know, when the guy is down, we're not going to kick him when he's down, even though that would be the quicker way to end it. Right. So, I mean, uh, it's kind of interesting that even without setting it up, um, there's no referee, there's no, there's no like, um, out of bounds or anything like that. Um, they stuck within that little, maybe for filming reasons or practical reasons, they stuck within a fairly small space. Um, and they, they gave each other, uh, that, uh, sort of leeway to get back to, you know, let the other man get to his feet, that kind of stuff. I had heard that when they, I don't, I don't know if they ever worked together again, but I had heard that, uh, or read somewhere that, uh, they had planned to do, um, a, uh, a, a non choreographed, uh, sparring session just to see who would come out on top, uh, at, at some time before the movie ended. I don't know if they, I don't think they ever mm. did, but, uh, I, I think they both, independently said, well, you know, I'd probably win, but. (laughs) And that would be really interesting because in, you know, when you, when you talk about Jackie Chan, Mm -hmm. you have this whole idea of, you know, he's got a tremendous amount of skill, but how does it apply? Right. How does he react to things that are less choreographed? Sure. And the moment you get to tie him to Benny with any kind of scoring, you now, because of the number of people that Benny fought, now you've got this this whole kind of hierarchy that you get to try to place Jackie into. Well, he can certainly take a hit. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I would guess if you add up all of his injuries, because he's broken something in pretty much every movie he's ever yeah, done. Yeah. If you were to add all that up and the fact that he keeps going, I mean, that, that's a very resilient man. Right. We all know Benny can take lots of hits, but uh, but I, I think we, we all know Jackie can as well. So yeah. I would imagine it'd probably be a tough. They would have a tough go at it at it uh, if they uh, if they did one of these sessions. I think they would probably had a lot. Of, I imagine they had a ball doing this. It looks like it. And if they didn't, like I don't know what's wrong with either of them, but I imagine <laughs> they had a lot of fun. Um, and uh, it must have taken quite a while uh, to do the whole thing. Like I. I I thought, but I mean, um, you can kind of see it in their faces. There's like a few uh, times when, I don't know if it was written into the script where they kind of like give each other the eye and they kind of nod or do something like that, that lets them, uh, the other person know that, uh, 
hey, that was a good shot or whatever. Um, and I imagine they, they didn't need to, but I imagine they stuck that stuff in just kind of for kicks. That's, that's my, my uh, fantasy, I guess. My guess is that they did a bunch of takes of this. Yeah. And to keep it from getting stale. Yeah. They said, you know, let's, let's kind of play this out in different ways. And I mean, you can see that they made, that they cut things, you know, obviously at the end when, when Jackie goes from halfway across the room to kneeing him under the chin, the physics of that don't work. <laughs> right, right, right. So you know yeah. that they're editing things together and that's totally fine. It's part of what makes a, an old fight scene fun is, is the suspension of reality. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're using different cuts from different takes throughout this. Sure. Yeah, I, don't, I would imagine. Yeah. And, and I would also guess that uh, um, they probably had a bare bones idea about how the fight should go. Um, but they wanted it to last a pretty long time. Uh, and so my guess is they, they, they had a, probably a couple of variations of it, I would guess. And they just wanted to see what kind of flowed best, mm -hmm. I would guess. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, I, this was the, when we had talked about doing this, this happened to be the first one that came to mind. And there's got to be, there's, there's so many others. I mean, this happens to be a fairly lengthy uh, scene. Um, but I guess to anybody who's out there and listening, if you know of others, if you like this sort of format and you like, other um sort of drawn out fight scenes like this where it's like commentary or if you'd uh, prefer it done a different way um you know let us know yeah yeah this was fun and and the idea of and and i gotta give credit to you josh i didn't even know that you could slow things down on youtube i thought we were going to do this at full speed but obviously that would have been really difficult and i think yeah. this allowed us to to dig a little more and and say those things that you think when you're watching something, but don't have time to. Right. And even doing it at half speed, there's stuff that you miss. Mm. Oh, um, we totally could have done it at quarter speed and yeah. still had enough to talk about. Yeah. Cause I have like a page of notes here <laughs> on little <laughs> things like, you know, and I don't know if anybody necessarily wants to go into that detail, but it just kind of shows like how much time and effort they put into that. Um, there's, you know, just that little, there's like a, a little ground sequence that they do where they're striking each other on the ground. And within the span of like a couple seconds, they, they've done numerous movements that you would just, if you're watching it, you would just miss. That's at, at second 11, I think, on this clip. You would just sort of miss like, oh, okay, that was cool. And then you'd be on to the next thing. But that probably took a fair amount of work just to choreograph that couple seconds of, you know, um, fight choreography right there. And um so it's it's kind of nice it's it's kind of nice to slow it down and and to actually like see what they put into it you know mm. for sure for sure cool well I hope you post those notes that you took I didn't take notes but I think oh you yeah well I, I will I I, uh, I I I I'll see if I can read my own handwriting <laughs> I'll I'll type I'll I'll actually I'll type them up and and, and put them I'll I'll, uh, I'll put them up there awesome. I think well, that's a good so place. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Have you any last words that you had? Other thoughts? Um, not really. This was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it again. Absolutely. I want to thank Mr. Blum for coming on the show for the collaboration. I've been really enjoying getting to know this guy. He's a good guy. And if you're not checking out his show, go do that. He does some really cool stuff. If you want to find the show notes for other episodes, you can visit whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Check those out. You're going to find photos and videos, links, social media, and a lot more. If you're willing to support us and the work that we do, you have quite a few options. Make a purchase at whistlekick.com. Don't forget the code PODCAST15. Or leave a review, buy a book on Amazon, maybe help out with the Patreon. That's patreon.com slash whistlekick. And we'd love to hear your suggestions for guests or anything else. You can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com, to do that. And I hope you follow us on social media. We're at Whistlekick everywhere you could imagine. That's all I've got today. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. Whistle.